Welcome to Daily Charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. Today is 17th of May 2024 and we shall be looking into the Word of God. But before we do that, I'd like us to quickly close our eyes for prayers. Father, we thank you for this day. Father, we thank you because it's the day which you have made and you have destined us to witness this day. Father, we give you the praise. May your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Father, we are going into your Word today. Father, let your word prosper our lives. Let your word sow seeds that will germinate and yield forth good fruits in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that as we go about our daily activities today, Father, I pray that we shall see your hand upon our lives and your, your glory shall be shown upon our lives and everyone around us. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 in Jesus' name. Beloved, today we shall be looking at an interesting topic titled help when facing life's challenges help when facing life's challenges and our memory verse shall be taken from the book of zechariah chapter 4 verse 7 zechariah chapter 4 verse 7 which reads who art thou O great mountain before zerubbabel thou shalt become a plain and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof without shoutings with shoutings crying grace grace unto it said we, and it shall bring forth the headstones thereof with shoutings crying grace grace unto it beloved i pray today that god shall deliver you from your stubborn enemies in the name of jesus beloved job chapter 14 verse 1 says man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble Beloved, everyone faces adversity at one point or another in life. Troubles, problems, adversity or whatever name you may call it are reasons why it is said that life is not easy. Everyone asks where the shoe is pinching them. The Bible does not leave us in the dark about the reality of life. However, the Bible also finds solution to all of life's problem beloved when facing life's challenges it can be very very challenging but with the right mindset right attitude and putting in place the right tactics the problems of life are surmountable as we all know we call god the god the, the, we call God the impossibility specialist. So, beloved, as much as we are navigating through life, I want to encourage us that, as, as we have read from the scriptures, from Job chapter 14, verse 1, which is, man that is born of woman is of few days but full of trouble. How do you get out of this trouble? Are these troubles unending? How do you get out of it? We can only get out of these troubles of life like i said earlier with the help of god and with the right mindset and putting in place tactics to help us navigate through life even with some of these um, few bombs that we um, usually encounter and as we all know the the bible has provided solution to every of life's problem so that most people find it um find it sort of a herculean task to um, pick up the scriptures, to read, memorize, and study the scripture to see that most of life's problems are, are virtually portrayed in the scriptures. And the scripture has also given us steps, step-by-step -step ways in order to surmount the, the troubles or the, the challenges of life. We shall be looking into that um, very shortly. But like I said, in order to um, surmount uh, life's challenges, we need to have the right mindset. Having the right self helps to cultivate a positive outlook, focusing on solutions rather than the problems. Um, recognize that challenges are opportunities for growth and learning. It's not all of life's challenges that are, that are there to, to drown us or to pull us down. No, we should see life's challenges in, 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 in different, in different uh, ways. You know, life's challenges most times, are, are they come our way in order to help us, to bring us into more understanding of God not just uh, understanding of God, it also helps us 
in in our growth and learning you know um the the person that uh, discovered light he said he did it he, he tried and tried and tried in in several ways he was not getting it he tried in another way he was not getting it he tried this and edison uh, as we as we know he said when he was interviewed that all those um, times he tried and he failed at it he said he didn't fail at it they were he only learned about those ways that it could not be possible so beloved i want us to see life challenges as 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 more of um ways in order for us to grow and in order to, in order to come to a better understanding of of life and of god as well amen also um when passing through life challenges a lot of people they tend to pull to themselves they don't share their problems with anybody they don't even go to they don't try to seek help they just um they just talk in and try to pull into their self beloved when going through life challenges whether we like it or not there are one or two persons that has also gone through that path and is there, like the saying goes the problem shared is a problem solved so praying and tactically putting things in place in to, to which we can um, surmount life's problem part of it is sharing our problems and not just sharing with just anybody sharing with people that you know that uh, that can um, be of help to you it's also a way to lift up that burden of you amen also um also beloved we need to learn uh, ways into ways in which we can break life challenges into you know smaller parts we have different uh, life challenges that faces human but you know trying to break them into smaller parts when i mean smaller part i mean for instance you are faced with um a, a possibly a financial challenge let's put it that way and in order to to um in order to solve this particular financial challenge you are going through you have to manage your you have to look at your finances you have to break um this particular financial um problem into into different parts the first part looking at your own income this project you want to embark on is this something that your finances can carry if you know that your finances cannot carry it okay what can you use as collateral to take um to apply for a loan after you have projected that this is what the 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 profit is going to be at the end of the day okay what kind of loan can you take that wouldn't affect wouldn't eat up so much into your profits or are there interest-free loans you know breaking them into part looking at it studying the, the, the particular, particular challenge you have and looking at um, um steps in which you, you can take in order to surmount those um uh, challenges again beloved isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 to 2 says but now thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, that he had formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Beloved, just as we have seen in Isaiah chapter 43, it says, when thou passes through the waters, it, the, 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 the scripture did not make us understand that we will not pass through water. But what it has told us is that when, you pass, when, when thou passes through the water, it says, it will not overrun thee. It says, when thou passes through fire, it didn't say you are not going to pass through fire at all. And when I mean fire in this context, not fire, per, you know, not fire like the old fire we know. But in, in this context, you know, when you pass through fire, that is when you pass through a particular challenge. And this challenge is so, you know, is, is more like a battle for you, so hot that you, 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 you are so entrenched in it. What the scripture has made us understand, according to Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 to 2, it has made us understand that when you pass through the fire, it says the fire will not burn us. Not that you won't pass through it at all. You'll pass through it, but you won't, you won't be born while passing through that fire. And those that will benefit from what this particular um, part of the scripture is telling us are those that are in right standing with God. Again, beloved, I put a question to you today. Are you in right standing with God? When you are in right standing with God, when you pass through life's challenges, 
it becomes an avenue for you to learn, to grow, and to understand the workings of the scripture. So it brings you to a closer relationship to God. It even builds up your trust in God. But the other way, if, if you are not of God and you pass through these life challenges, the water may drown you. Let us take a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Daily Charge. Beloved, the Bible is rich with promises from God that provides us comfort, strength, and hope when going through life's challenges. And there are some scriptures highlighting God's promises to us, to us in times of difficulty. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, which reads, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your, I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Beloved, like I said earlier, the solution to life's challenges, the solution to life's problems is right in the scriptures. Just that many have become so um, uh, um, lazy and um, they just, or, or they don't consider the scripture as a book, like a go-to guide for you to learn from and to take note of the lessons it's portraying to us in order to surmount life's challenges. Again, the book of um, Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So imagine you are equipped this, with these kind of scriptures. You are going through a life challenge and you just need those words of positivity, those words that will spawn your faith into action. They are in the scriptures. Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You are faced with that life challenges and it's looking as though this is just the end of, of, of the line. This is just the, the end of the journey for you. And you begin to profess, you know, the words of the scripture, which says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Are there negative words around you? Words of negativity? Are there, are there situations that is looking impossible for you? You know, are there, are there convincing, convincing messages you are getting from people saying, oh, you cannot do this. Oh, you cannot achieve this. Oh, within this time, you cannot do this. Beloved, I will encourage you to rely on the word of God, which says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Again, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plan of good and not for evil, to, give, to, bring, us an expected, to, to bring us an expected end. That is, that is, the scripture is telling us the mind of God to us as his children. He didn't say we are not going to pass through fire. He didn't say we are not going to pass through water. It didn't, tell, it didn't tell us that. And that's to, 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 um, to prepare us for what is ahead. That is, 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 life is not just going to be all rosy, all smooth, without bombs here and there. No. And that is why the scripture is telling us that the Lord has said that he knows the plans he has towards us. They are plans of good and not for evil. Whatever that challenge is you are, whatever that challenge is that you are going through, 
speak the word of God into existence. Speak that word of God into that challenges. Speak that word of God into that battle that is facing you. Speak the word of God. Speak it as it has written in the scripture, as it has given us in the scripture, that the thoughts that the Lord has towards us is thought of good and not of evil. Thought to, uh, 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 thought to bring us to an expected end. And what are these expected then? The expected end are things that uh, but what are these expected that they are testimonies testimonies that we can that we can share tomorrow and testify to God's faithfulness God's faithfulness to his word because his word cannot go back to him void he has said those words and he's going to bring it to pass in our life amen another um, scripture in the bible that is a go-to guide for us is the book of psalm chapter 34 verse 17 to 18 which says the righteous cry out the lord hears him and delivers him from all his trouble the lord is close to be broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in the spirit did you did you get that it says the righteous cry out, not the unrighteous now for those of you that say oh the, but the rain falls on the wicked and the rain falls on the good the bible says the righteous cries out unto the lord and the lord comes true for the righteous beloved there's a difference between being of Christ and being not of Christ. When you are of Christ, he has assured us that those challenges you are passing through, that fire you are going through, is not going to burn you down. You are not going to be burnt to ashes. Amen. So, beloved, the, the scripture is a go-to guide for us. It's, it's, a, it's a guide, it's a daily guide for us to help us navigate through life, to help us understand life's challenges. It's to help us understand that life is, 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 is not just going to be rosy. The Bible is all written there in the scripture. Please, I will implore us to also pick up our Bible you know, as, as a charge for us, a day-to-day charge for us to study the word of God get God's promises. Know what God is saying about that particular situation you are going through. is in his word, just as you don't know. Every, every of life's situ- uh, um, solution is in the word of God. Again, the book of Romans says something. It says, and we know that in all things, God works for, for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Amen. In the book of um matthew chapter 11 verse 28 it says come to me you who are weary and are heavy laden he said i will give you rest he says take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart you will find rest for your souls that is the word of god to us today he says come on to me all you who are weary and are heavy laden and like the songwriter says again oh what peace we often forfeit Oh, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not take it to God in prayers. And his word is just, is just right there in his word. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, which says, Come unto me, all you who are heavy, all you who are weary and are heavy laden. Beloved, are you weary today? You are listening to this broadcast. You are weary. You are heavy laden. You feel this life challenge is out to destroy you. You feel this fire your passage is out to burn you to ashes. You feel this water of this water of affliction that you are passing that you are that you are, you are that, that you are passing through is going to drown you and and you know and you are going to get wasted from it. The word of God has said to us in Matthew eleven twenty. It says, "Come unto me, you who are weary and are heavy laden." It says it will give you rest. It says it will it will it will find peace. It will give peace unto your soul. That is what the word of God has, says, has, has said to us. Beloved, if you don't come unto God, then it's up to you. It is up to you. We need to find our feet in the presence of God. We, it's high time we need to start making our knees useful at the altar of prayer. Come before God, bringing your requests, your prayers and supplications to Him. And He says He will find rest unto our souls. Beloved, don't be drowned by life's challenges. Don't be drowned by life's battle. Don't, don't, don't let yourself be overwhelmed by life's challenges. He says we should look up to him as the hope and finisher of our faith. He alone has the power to deliver. 
He alone has the power to heal. He alone has the power to, to, to spare our lives. Just like King Ezekiah in the Bible. This, the sickness he had, it was unto death. And it was clear that this sickness was unto death. But he sought the face of God. Beloved, let us, let, let us, let us um, try as much as possible to always, to always go back to the scriptures. The Bible made us understand that he went to God in prayers, telling God that he didn't want to die at that moment, that God should add to the years of his life. And I'm sure we all know what happened. The Lord added 15 more years to his life. Beloved, there are situations, if he didn't pray, he would have just, that sickness was unto death. He would have gone like that. And that would have been the end of, that would have been the end of him. We would have had anything. We just know that, okay, in the genealogy of Christ, you know, no, in the genealogy of those that were kings in the Bible, okay, we knew that, okay, King Ezekiah, yes, 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 and that, that's all. But there's something exceptional about him, which is has come further to prove to us that God is faithful to his promises. Why? Because he said we should call upon him, we that are weary and are heavy laden, and he's going to give our souls rest. And King Ezekiah was able to, 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 to call upon him. He called upon him and told God, God, I don't want to die at this, at, at this stage. I still have more. I still have more to give. And Lord said, you know what? I'm adding to the years of your life. Imagine he didn't even seek the face of God in prayers. He would have just been, he would have just been taking drugs or be taking apps that, that, that prescribed, prescribed to him by the doctors. And that would be the end of it. Beloved, it's high time we start seeking the face of God in prayers. Amen. Again, the Bible is saying unto us again in Psalm chapter 23, verse 4. He says, even though I walk through the darkest of valley, he says, I fear no evil, for God is with me. Do you, do you, do you get that? He says, even though I walk through the, the, the darkest of valley, he says, I fear no evil. We are going on a short break now. We'll be right back. Thank you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Daily Charge. Beloved, all of life's battles can be summarized under the following two categories. The water of affliction and the fire of affliction. The scripture in the foregoing says, When and not if you go through them, therefore whether it is the water of affliction or the fire of affliction that you are passing through, God says it will be with you. What matters most then is your attitude towards adversity. You know, as our Father and the Lord said uh, in, in, in this um, book, he said, Some time ago, I met a certain man who could not reason normally. I asked what was wrong, and he apologized and said, Ah, adversity has affected his reasoning, and he is a Christian. It shouldn't be because, it shouldn't be because no matter what we are going through as Christians, God is able to make a way for us to manifest victoriously. Therefore, beloved, I want to implore us to face your adversity headlong, knowing that God is on your side and victory is sure. The book of Psalm chapter 50, verse 15 says, And call upon me in the day of trouble. It says, I will deliver thee, for thou shalt glorify me. Beloved, we are 
God's offspring. We are the heritage of Christ. And as the heritage of Christ, our, 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 divine, our, our divine director has given us instruction that we should call upon him. In Psalm 46 verse 1, he made us understand that he's our refuge, he's our strength, he's our present help in time of trouble. Notice the word present, he's our present help, meaning he's right there with us. All we need to do is just assess the throne of mercy. It's also assessing. But so many people, once they are faced with life challenges, the first thing they do is to go and make their resorts in places that God has not sent them. It's to go and make resorts in ungodly places. Beloved, the Lord is calling us unto repentance today to make Him our first resort, to make Him, to, to, to inquire from Him, to seek Him as our present help in time of trouble. And the, as much as you do that, the Lord will come to for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to go into our prayers right now. We are going to take our first prayer like this. Oh God, arise and disgrace my stubborn pursuers in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and disgrace my stubborn pursuers. Oh God, arise and disgrace my stubborn pursuers. Oh God, arise and disgrace my stubborn pursuers in Jesus' name. Amen. Every Pharaoh of my father's house, die in the name of Jesus. Every Pharaoh of my father's house, die in the name of Jesus. Every Pharaoh of my father's house, die in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Any power working against my peace and progress, Die in the name of Jesus. Any power working against my peace and progress, die in the name of Jesus. Any power working against my peace and progress, die in Jesus' name. Every enemy that has vowed to keep me in bondage, die in the name of Jesus. Any power, every enemy that has vowed to keep me in bondage, die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that has vowed to keep me in bondage, die. Battles are signs to frustrate me, die in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer with all sincerity, with all seriousness. Every battle are signs to frustrate me. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle that signs to frustrate me. Die in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Any power making life difficult for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power making life difficult for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power making life difficult for me. Die in Jesus' name. Powers making me to weep. Making me to weep. Woe to you in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Powers making me to weep. Woe unto you in the name of Jesus. Powers making me to weep. Woe unto you. Pray that prayer. Power to powers making me to weep. Woe unto you. Woe betide you in the name of just powers making me to weep. Woe betide you in the name of just woe unto you. Speak woe unto those powers that are making you to weep. Powers that are making you to cry. Powers that are bringing forth those challenges, wanting to make you weep at all times. Speak woe unto those powers today. Speak woe unto those powers today. Speak woe unto them. Say woe betide you, powers. Who are wanting me to weep in the name of Jesus. In Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. And beloved, as I made this prayer, as I pray this prayer, I pray that the Lord, the God of 11th hour, will walk in suddenly into his sanctuary and hearken unto your cry and hearken unto your prayers today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your prayer has gone forth to, to God. I pray that it shall please the Lord to answer your request speedily in the mighty name of Jesus, to answer his name in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. It will please the Lord to answer his name in your life in the name of Jesus. As you have prayed today, I pray for you that the Lord will come to for you. Every of life's challenges that you are going through, every of life's problem that you are going through, as the Lord has said that we, shall, we should seek him as our help, in pre, as our present help in trouble, the Lord will come to for you. He will help you out of those situations in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not fail. You shall not fall in the mighty name of Jesus. In Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Thanks for joining us for today's Daily Charge. See you again next time. God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.